Hi, I'm Johnny from UltimatePaperMache.com. A couple of weeks ago, I started on a ballerina bunny based very loosely on a famous um, mixed media sculpture by Degas. He has a, he has a ballerina. Um, the copy of it is cast in bronze and uh, on view in the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Obviously, this is very loosely <laughs> related to that sculpture because um, his ballerina is human, and this one is not. Um, this one also doesn't have a head yet. I'm going to start working on the head today. I've been a little bit behind on this project because I started a um, minor cosmetic surgery project on the 100-year-old house I just bought, and the house filled up with plaster dust, and I had to finish that or at least get it, you know, little closer to done before I could do anything else. Um, so today let's let's get started on this head. I'm not going to be able to put her eyes on because I I didn't um, didn't get the right thing from the hardware store, but um, we're going to get started on it anyway. So let me show you how we're going to do that. The first piece is uh, fairly simple. Um, all of them are really um, because we're going to be covering this with paper mache clay so we don't have to get real detailed in the armature. Um, this is the cheek the, the cheeks kind of stick out quite uh, quite wide uh, um, on a rabbit's face and I'm just going to put that on there. This is going right around the, the neck that I had already before. Um, we're going to put two of these, one on each side of the neck, of course. There we go. Now the Degas sculpture that I'm basing this on somewhat has a um, she's a, had kind of a snooty look to the to the little ballerina. She's supposed to be 14 years old. She's got her nose up in the sky, and that actually works really well because I'm going to be using um, the ears to replace the um, the fabric bow that is on that sculpture. So that's going to work out really well for us. The next piece is a kind of a ridge. Um, this, this piece kind of defines the back of the head and it's also going to make a natural spot for the eye. And again, we're going to have to do a lot of squishing and poking once this is on there. I'm going to buy some um, buttons. I'm going to show you real quick here. These are little wooden buttons that you can buy at the hardware store. And I, mine are too small, <laughs> so I'm going to have to go back and get them uh, the right size. Um, they're cheap, I think it's a couple dollars or something for a hold. And I'll probably get a dozen in the package. And every single one of them, of course, is too small, so I have to go back and get those. But we will be making, just because this piece is much narrower than the cheeks, it just makes a natural spot for those eyes. They'll go right right there. In normal life, we don't really see the bottom of a rabbit's chin because they don't hold their heads up in the air like this. So we're going to be seeing more of the rabbit's neck than we normally would. Get her lower lip on there, kind of back a ways from the from the front of these pouchy parts. Yeah, she gets a little nose. 
Now, even though we've just got some really simple shapes added here, she is actually starting to look rather rabbity. Now what I think I need, and I didn't make before, is a... a little bit of padding here in her front because the neck is um, not heading in the right direction. These are just some um, ears that I cut out of, um, actually it's the paint chip. <laughs> this is the color that I'm going to be painting the trim for my bedroom doors. Um, and these are just going to go here. Um, ears always go, of course, where the, the jawline connects the, the top of the jawline. That's true for our ears and it's true of everybody else's too. Um, and in this particular instance that's actually going to work because the, the ears are going to go right at the, at the base and they'll look like that, that ribbon that's on the Degas sculpture. Let me skid this back just a little bit so you can see it better. I'm just going to fold up her ear so it has that nice curve to it. So she's, the, the armature is very, very close to done now. All I have to do now is just um, add those eyes, um, and then it'll be ready to be uh, covered with the paper mache clay. If you're interested in that, if you haven't used it yet, uh, there's a recipe for the paper mache clay. Some people are calling it Johnny Clay out on my blog at ultimatepapermache.com. Um, you can also find it, of course. Um, here's, here's my little... Um, blurb. <laughs> Find it in my book, uh, and Make Animal Sculptures with Paper Mache Clay. Um, and that's that's going to be covering the, the body of this rabbit. We're going to make her tutu out of plaster cloth. So I think that's going to be really fun. Almost done. Well, okay. Almost done kind of the same way my remodeling job is almost done. Like maybe halfway. Okay, we'll see you next time. Stay tuned. Um, hope to see you then. Bye-bye.